Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing video. Uh, today I have a special surprise for you and for me. Uh, my friend managed to get a box of the Shining Stars V pack. Uh, autofocus is on and I'm not used to dealing with autofocus, but but yeah, so we're going to be opening that. Um, it looks to be a fun set. My issue, <laughs> the issue I'm running into right now is I have a playmat with faces on it. And I think the autofocus wants to focus on those. I think. I could try covering up the faces. I have sleeves set aside here, so I don't know if this will help, but maybe it will. I think it's helping a little. I don't know. Either way. Um, I'm excited. My friend got this. For I was thinking about getting a couple boxes for myself, but I was like, mm, no, I don't think I need to. And I was telling my friend about it, and he was like, oh, I ordered some, and I actually got one for you. So I was like, oh, oh, snap. So I'm excited to pull these, to open these. Um, I was looking them up, um, I was looking them up afterwards today. And I guess, like, the Korean ones are, like, $50 each, and I almost, like, just bought a bunch. But I was like, No. Or OBS can just freeze. There's that too. I, I don't know where the video froze, but uh, like I was saying, I was considering buying some of these. Um, but then I was like, no, I don't really need to. It's it's okay. I don't need to spend money on them. And I was telling my friend that, and he was like, oh, I actually bought some, and I actually bought one for you, as like a Christmas gift. And I was like, oh snap. So I was like. Okay, cool. Like, I guess I am still going to be opening them. So, I think they come with 10 packs each. Opening these ones. 10 packs. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yeah, yeah. We got 10 packs. Also, I like how this didn't repeat. Cool, so yeah, so we got 10 packs of these to open. I'm super excited. My friend showed me a pack today he got, and I guess it's the God Pack, where it's all... It's all the Shinies and Hollows and VMAXs, so... Um... Yeah, like, like I said, I'm excited to open these, so I think the... I think we should just get started, right? I don't know if there's a correct way to do this. I have my sleeves here in case anything. I don't have scissors. I was going to use scissors, but. And then I thought about using my X-Acto knife, but then I was like, no. It's okay. I still have my uh, Digimon. My case of Digimon packs here, so I guess that's a good trash. Also, can I just say, I really like the... Uh, I really like the, um, the, the way the Japanese cards look. Like, they just look better. And I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so it looks like this is just a promo card for, uh, the new style set, I think. Or maybe no uh, character card. So, I don't know if there's a correct way to do this, but like, we'll go through. Look at this, Snom. Look how cute this Snom is. This is probably the best Snom that they've printed. Come on, come on, autofocus. You can do it. 
My issue is I don't know where it's focusing. Uh, I don't know what this Pokemon is. Okay, sight. This is the test of your Pokemon knowledge be through foreign cards. I have no idea who this Pokemon is. Indeedy. This is a trash garbage bag. Okay, this is the sword I think that attaches to Zacian V. I don't know what it's called, but... Uh, oh, I think this is the first shiny. I'm not actually sure what this is. Okay, Frostmoth. I think this is the Ice Dance one. Um, Colossal. Ooh, an Eternatus V. And... Oh, we got another one, right? Is this the same one? It is the same one. So, I like the way these feel. These feel really smooth. I don't know if you can kind of see. It kind of shines in certain areas, but... The Eternatus V is really cool. Unfortunately, you can't play with... Uh, foreign cards in like tournaments or whatever so these are really more for collection purposes or like casual play uh preferences i guess or situations like if i played at home you know then i could use then i'd use them but i can't go to like you know a tournament with them which kind of sucks because magic does that. Like, magic is like, oh, as long as you know what the card does. Like, feel free to use whatever you want. You know? But, nope. Not Pokemans. Okay, we got this. Grookey. I know what you do. Corvus Squire, I think, is what the name of this Pokemon is. Also... Uh, the other video, I was talking about the birds. The generic birds. I forgot this was a generic bird. Haunter. I don't actually know what this thing is. This is the evolved form of that other thing that I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this, fo this is focusing on. There's a lot of stuff going on on my desk. Rose. Ooh, Zamazenta. I feel like this is the starter deck one. Okay, uh, this is the um, the Shady Dealings one. Ooh, Toxicity V. And what's this last one? Oh, I have no idea what this Pokemon is. It's, it's so hard for even the camera to catch it. The toxicity is cool. I remember there was a time people were playing a toxicity, a toxicity V deck, and then like I guess just everyone stopped playing it because I haven't seen it in a long time. It's just kind of wild when you really think about it. I guess I think it's because like people started playing like Dragapult. I guess it was just better. Seventeen of twenty-four. All right, we got the the good Zigzagoon, the good boy, Yamper, uh, Clavipus. I think that's this one, or might be the other one. Bird Keeper. S uh, Sanaconda, I think it's this one. This is the the forest. I don't know what it's called. Ooh, Professor's Research, always good. This is what a Grim Snarl. I think that's what this Pokemon's called. Hey, Fiber, how's it going? And oh, we got the Rillaboom V Max. And what's this one? Shiny Amper. I guess the, uh, I guess the, uh, 
the ones in the back go in the front not actually sure Professor's research is always cool Bmax this feels a little bit different than the English ones Fiber, how was your uh, your holidays? I hope you had a good holiday. Hope you had good holidays. I'll just put them here since there's not really much going on underneath. So like the Charizard is what I'm looking for, I guess. I don't, I didn't look over what's in this set. So everything again is always like new. Venus or V looks pretty cool. I'm really liking these art, these little like art card things. They, those are the things I really like. Look at this Rodom. This Rodom is super cute, dude. Come on, you can focus. Maybe you can't focus. I don't know what this camera wants to focus on. If I turn off autofocus, it, uh... Get my brother should have lab dinner. Ooh, what are you guys having? It focuses on something in the background. I'm not sure what it is. This is the apple thing. Turbo patch. Look, I know cards. Senna Scorch. Ooh, a shiny, uh, the duck. Always like shiny ducks. Hatterene, I don't know what this does, but it looks cool. Ooh, a Primate Wisdom, a Rangaroo, always good. And a Dragapult V. And I think this is the powerful colorless energy. I think. I could be wrong. I don't actually know my Pokemon cards either. I don't know Pokemon. I don't know Pokemon cards. As someone who hasn't played really anything past X and Y. And not having played X and Y in like years I don't know what like half the Pokemon are anymore okay what card did we get the deer with the thing I'm gonna be honest I really just want to like Maybe it's Yuri's face. Oh, I think it's Yuri's face. What if we just block all the faces, like in the game? This thing looks like a gremlin. Like, this thing looks like a gremlin. I don't even know what Pokemon this is. I'm gonna, uh... See, okay, so I feel like this is a shiny, but I don't think this is a shiny. It's got, like, the shiny effects. But I don't know what Pokemon this is, so I don't know if it's a shiny or not. Obviously, this duck is a shiny, because I know what the duck looks like. It's okay, whatever. Let's continue. We got the, uh, sad boy... Sad Boy Hours, Bunnelby, that Electric Dragon, as everything is doesn't want to focus on it. I don't know which way to turn my hand either. This is that Water Bucket.
The Galarian Lenoon. Sorry everything's super blurry. I don't know how to work my camera. The Zashin, which is like the, the Zamazenta we had. The Surfetched. Yo, let's go, shiny Charizard V Max. Yo, let's go, my dudes. What's under here? What's the last one? Not, not shiny Charizard V. Oh, but look how cool this looks, Poggers, dude. Man, if only like. Only, I could get away with selling that. It looks super nice. If it was the, uh... actually, I don't think the rainbow one would have mattered. Cause I was gonna say, if it's rainbow, then you wouldn't even tell if it's shiny or not. Realistically, you know. Okay, another Blastoise card. Which one are you? Score Bunny again? Wait, do I? Did I get Score Bunny before? I think I did, right? Oh no, I didn't. I got Grookey. I really want to try to get all of these now. Two. 17, 19, 24, 16. Alright. Webcam is in the way. Put them over here. The Barracuda, Rowlet, Dragapult, Acrobike. I think this is the Make Do, right? Yeah, this is the Make Do Minchino, Chinchino. I forget which one it is. The Darkness Energy. I've seen this Pokemon before, I just forget what it's called. Yo, Kyogre Amazing Rare, look at that, look at this boy. What else you got? And a Ditto VMAX, let's go. I don't even know what this does. Oh wait, there's another card. Oh, with this thing. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even know there was a Kyogre Amazing Rare in here. That's super fucking neat. Also, Ditto VMAX is great. I'm so, like, I don't know how I feel about Ditto being a, uh, being a V and a VMAX, but you know what? I'll take it. So I pulled three VMAXs, three Vs, and Amazing Rare. And we still got four packs left. Let's say this is a, okay, I don't know how to judge which in these, how good these boxes are, but... I think just pulling the Charizard alone probably makes up for the whole thing. Now we just need to pull the shiny, shiny Charizard V and then we're good. What are you? I think this is the Articuno. 22. I right, got Sunfisk. Uh, this thing. I just called the sea urchin, the teacup, chip, the psychic energy, Grookey, uh, not Grookey, um, oh shoot, I forget what the second stage of Grookey is, but this one looks mean, he looks angry. Ooh, shiny Eldegoss, I like it. Oh, they redid, redid the art for Galarian, uh, uh, pfft. goons. I forget what the name of this one is. I feel dumb because I should know it. Tapu Coco. Oh, and the Dragapult VMAX. So we got both of them. Nice. 
and I forget what this one's called. Okay, so we got the Eldegoss. I mean, not Eldegoss. So we got a uh, Dragapult V and V Max in the same one, and a Ditto V Max. Oh, this pack opened really weirdly. I should ask my friend if he kept these. I think this is Rook D. Galarian Ponyta. Look at this. Look at this uh, far fetched. He looks angry. Or beetle. Fire that fire energy. Yo, this this actually looks like good art from finally on him. Girl, boy, what are you focusing on? I saw a V, so Oh, Suicune looks pretty cool. I like the art on the Suicune. Cursula, I think we have this in, um, oh, I forget which set it is. I... Oh, the Bolton V. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, Itachi, how's it going? And then the sea urchin that I forget the name of. It goes. That is such a mood, my friend. All right, Kyogre, you're getting relegated back over here. We got two packs left. Oh. See, so I'll be switching to Pokemon Diamond after this. I only got two packs left, so I don't know how the, how the pool's going. Pretty good. Um, I did manage to pull the shiny Charizard V, so... Uh, sorry, the V Max. So that's pretty cool. No, nothing about this new set. I'll be honest. Uh, I don't really know much about it either, other than this is like the new shiny set. So that's the extent of my knowledge as well. I really know nothing about this set, but this is the the, the, the Japanese one. So I think ours is coming in. I want to say like March. No, they. Okay, so I saw someone do a box opening for these like a, maybe like a month ago. But. And I think those came with codes for like Sword and Shield raids. Like in game raids for the game. The ones I'm opening, like it looks like they just come with like advertisements for the expansion pass and then these little like art cards these little art things on the back so no codes in uh no codes in ours or as i no codes in in the box i'm opening at least galarian meow but yeah, my I'm kind of with you. My extent, my knowledge of this new set isn't really um, existing, other than like, oh, there's shiny Charizards in here. Okay, this is the shield that goes with the Zamazenta. I forget what it actually does, but I think it can only be attached to this to the Zamazentas. You got this derpy looking thing. I haven't played in like a year or two. I think I started, oh, the, okay, so this is the one that I've been wanting. I love Pokeball Guy. It's so dumb looking, and I don't even know what he does, but he's great. Um, I just started playing the TCG like a year ago, so. And then I took like a few months off of like at the beginning of like the pandemic since all of the clo all the stores closed down and I was like there's no reason to, to buy Pokemon cards right now 
But then I started getting back into like the online stuff, so I've been playing a little bit of that more. And I haven't actually really bought in like cards for decks. I kind of buy cards just to like open because I like opening packs and stuff. Most of my decks have banned cards now. That's how it be. Boltund. Ooh, the Decidueye. I might send this to my friend. Ooh, the Santa Scorch V. And I'm going to call this Rune Terra. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I... I never actually learned how to play the Pokemon game until like a year ago, honestly. So... Like, I feel that. Let me... Shift these over. Use open, y'all. Pokeball guy, you can play hardcore and TCGO for a while. Yeah, there was a time I played a lot on PTCGO when I was playing, like, also in person. And then, I don't know, I just kind of stopped for a while. Like, when Rebel Clash came out, because that's when the pandemic started, I kind of just fell out of playing, really. So it was like, mm, okay. Ooh, Sobble is the one I was kind of looking for. Roaring Skies was still standing. Yeah, I, I started playing when Cosmic Eclipse was standard. Or oh, that was like the newest set that had come out. Like, I think, I want to say Cosmic Eclipse was out for maybe like a month or at least a few weeks when I started playing, because that was like the new set, right? And I didn't know anything about the card game at that point. So that's when I kind of started watching like, started watching like Pokemon streams and stuff to kind of learn the game. And you know, I was able to learn the game kind of just by watching and playing a little and stuff. I don't know which way to, Spinarak, Spinarak looks Super cute, my dude. I guess this might be a good spot for it. Hone Edge. The Barracuda. Uh, home Field Advantage is what I'm going to call it. This is the Shield. I don't know what the Shield is called. Ooh, Dragapult V. I played from Roaring Skies until the first Sun and Moon set dropped. Ooh, Full Art but Bird Keeper. Yeah, look how cute this is. What the heck, dude? That's super cool. Probably not, it's not really a good card, but like, I really like the art on this. And a Zacian V. And a Rookie D. I really like, I, I really like this art. Oh my God. I really hope we get this in um, in our set. But the Zacian V is super cool. This is the, uh, does every pack have V cards? It had to have, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I guess so, because it's only 10 packs in this booster and I have 10 Vs, so. Yeah, I guess so. I didn't even think of that. The full art is super. I mean, really, like, I really, I should be fawning over this card, but I mean, like, like in terms of these two, like, this has the better art, but this is probably like the cooler one. All right, not too bad. In terms of non Vs. We didn't really get much, but, you know, the Oranguru is always good, and Professor's Research is always good, and two Shinies is, you know, ain't they great? They, they probably never see play, but, I mean, they're fun. Did we get anything else, really? Doesn't seem like it. 
The spinner rack is super cool. I might send this to my friend because I know she likes uh, Decidueyes. I might send her this. Boltund, I kind of remember. I kind of wish they had done like alternate art on these. But I think a lot of these are like the same art. Which I mean is okay. I don't I don't really mind. It was one of those like, oh, it would have been cool if they uh had alternate art on them. Let me put all the uh I guess they're full, full foils. I don't know if that's the right word for them, but like the entire card is shiny. It's got like a gloss on it. And I like it. I like the way they look. But they definitely have like a, a feel to them. Kind of almost like a plastic, but... Not super bad. I actually can't even tell the, uh... I don't know where you tell the rarity on these. Oh. Well, this one says triple R. But a lot of these don't have a thing on it. They just say either, like, D? All these just say D. So I don't actually know what the, uh... How to tell the rarity on these cards. Other than, like, it's probably just a rare. I mean, obviously I know what rares look like. But there's no indication on the cards that says, like, Oh yeah, this is a rare. This is a common. This is an uncommon. But, you know, that's okay. I don't really need them to tell me what I know, know is a rare and which is a common. Alright, well, that's probably going to be it. Okay, so this is... This must be a shiny, because this says has an S on it, so... That's probably a shiny... Yamper. Okay, what does they kind of tell you what, uh, what's a rare and what's not? Okay, well, looks like that's the end of that. Let me take a quick picture of this to send to my friend. Yes, maybe over here. There's a bunch of glare, like... Over there. I think what it is, is there's a... Uh... There we go. Part of my lamp is, like, broken. So, and that to them. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this unboxing video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. The I do kind of wish there was more packs in these boxes, but I get why it's not a full-on booster either. So, um, you know, thank you guys for watching. 
I hope to see you guys in the next video. I still think probably my favorite three are in this actual order are the, the Full Art Bird Keeper, the, uh, the Shiny Charizard VMAX, and then I really like the Kyogre Amazing Rare. Like it's super sick looking if the camera would focus. It looks super sick. I love the amazing rares and the way they look. So I'll see you guys in the next video and have a good rest of your day.